the Chow Chin Chows, Judge PH Games here and welcome to another IBL battle. Welcome to week 7 of the IBL. I know last week I said it was week 7, it's actually week 6. This week is actually week 7 now. And we are about to play Charizard of and her awesome, amazing person that I... We're going to call her significant other Simba. And of course, they are the coaches, co-coaches of the South Polo Cyndaquils. So, let's get this match underway. So, let me pick my music, which is always Music 22. Uh, let me pick my battle box. Now, let me show you the team, because I didn't do a team builder this week, because again, I've been building my teams late, like I did last week, and I didn't have a chance to get record a team builder. Same thing goes here. So, let's take a look at this team. So, first off, we have Nuke Day uh, with Dragon Dance, Rock Slide, Flare Blitz, and Roost. Then we have Dino Dan with Dragon Dance, Rock Slide, Ice Punch, and Crunch. Then we have Swift with Shell Smash, Baton Pass, Ice Beam, and Scold. Then we have Charlotte with Thunder, Energy Ball, Bug Buzz, and Hidden Power Ground, uh, Hidden Power Ice, actually, sorry. Then we have Nelly with Earthquake, Stealth Rocks, Rapid Spin, and Ice Shard. And finally, we have Jesse with Counter Destiny Bond, Encore, and Mirror Coat. That is the team. Let's enter it all. I was going for that team very, very quickly to sort of... Uh, Introduce the team to you. I was trying this up because I knew I didn't have a lot of time. But let's have a look at her team. And it looks very interesting. I'll tell you that for free. As I am going to try and get a, a screenshot of her team. And if you see that, I'm sorry. It's just that I'm trying to get a screenshot of her team. And now I need to load up the screenshot of her team I just took. Okay, so she has a Gardevoir, Fundorus T, which she just got this week, actually. Uh, Gliscor, Haunchcrow, and... Um, Entei and Vaporeon. Okay. And she's starting with the Gliscor. Okay. I don't want to stay in against the Gliscor. That's not a good idea, Joe. I think my play is Don Fan here, actually. Yeah, I think my play is Don Fan here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to Don Fan. I'm going to go to Don Fan. It's probably the best play here. He might try an Earthquake. And I don't want to be... Deal New Day does not want to get hit with an Earthquake. We have to Mega Evolve first turn. But uh, when we start when we start attacking, we have to Mega Evolve first turn. It doesn't say anything about the fact that I have to stay in and Mega Evolve first turn. No matter what. If I start with New Day, it doesn't mean that I have to Mega Evolve first turn. I can switch out as much as I want. And that's what I'm going to do right now. There's the U-turn. Okay, he was expecting the switch. She was expecting the switch, and I understand that, and that's cool. At least I got some damage in on the Gly score. Okay, what's she going to bring in now, though? That's the question. What is she going to bring in now? What is she going to bring in now? Uh, if you wonder what I'm doing on the other screen, I'm trying to set up my damage counts. I might try and use damage counts for the first time in this league. I'm a little worried about her team, and I want to try and use damage counts in battle. It's something that big people do when they do YouTuber, YouTubers do uh, battles, and I want to start doing it too. Fundorus coming in. Okay. 
Fundoris, do I have anything that could deal with you? Not on Donphan, no. Donphan does not have anything to deal with you. But you can't... Can you learn anything that would deal with Donphan? Because this would be a perfect opportunity to set up rocks. Although I could go into... Uh, I honestly don't know what you could learn that could do with... I mean, unless you have a hidden power. Unless you have something like hidden power ice. Which would be very dangerous to stay in on. But I don't think you would go... F I really don't think that would be a thing. It's hard to predict whether you'd have something that's super effective on ground. With hidden power. It's hard to predict whether you're going to have that or not. So, I don't know what to do here. I really don't. I kind of want to see what he's got, though. So, I'm going to stay in. I'm going to stay in. kind of want to see what this Fundorus has got. Ooh, I got Ice Shard. That's guaranteed first turn priority. And Fundorus is uh, Electric Fight Flying. Oh, you have Grass Knot. I wasn't expect. Okay, I didn't expect that. Oh my god, I've got 6 0'd. I got 6 0'd in the first turn. Nice. Nice, Joe. New record. Nice, Joe. How new record of how quickly you can get 6 0'd. Let's continue to play this turn. Let's continue to play this, though. I'm going to get 6 0'd first turn. Oh my god, I'm going to get 6 0 first turn. Let's go to Charlotte. Okay, Charlotte. I'm going to go for the Bug Buzz. Uh, no, 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 I don't want to go for the Bug Buzz. I want to go for Hidden Power Ice. You're not going to have to stop flying. Why do you have stab flying? You'd have stab electric, you, but you wouldn't have stab flying. So I can go for the hidden power ice. In fact, her team's quite deceptible to ice. You know, there's uh, Fondorus, there's uh, Mercro, and I mean Horchcrow, sorry, and of course there's Gliscor as well. So that's three Pokemon that are deceptible to ice. I guess Donphan was only here really to bulk things, really, so it didn't really... It wasn't really a bad thing that Donphan went down. It really wasn't a bad thing that Donphan went down. But let's... Let's see what she's got. This is a fun... This would be a fun Doris. This is fun Doris T. She might have choice. She might have... Sp she might have specs. She really might have specs. Oh, hidden power ice does so much damage. But it doesn't kill, and I can't stay. I can't stay in. This is the thing here. I can't stay in because this thing could earthquake. So, I can't stay in. But who can soak up an earthquake? Jesse. Jesse can soak up an earthquake. Jesse can soak up an earthquake. Charlotte cannot soak up earthquakes. But Jesse can. And you might try and roost, which is annoying, but there's not really much I could do about that. But I just can't deal with the earthquake. If I get hit, if I get hit with an earthquake here, that's GG. That's two. I go down two mons down really early, and I can't deal with that. I honestly can't deal with that. Going two mons down nine minutes into the battle—that's awful. That's really awful. Going two mons down really this early into the game, I can can't really deal with that. So I don't want to deal with that. So I'm not going to deal with that. I'm going to switch out. Even though for going for some going for something like a hidden power ice would have been a great idea here, it's just too risky to pull up because she could just go for the earthquake, dead Charlotte. She could go for acrobatics or a flying type move, dead Charlotte. Either way, not very good ideas. 
Going to Jesse is a bad is a good idea. Okay, they're going to switch instead, actually. Desiree. That is the God of War. Okay. Well, she might try and ca she might I want to I want to kind of encore her to see what she's got. She might have Shadow Ball, which is annoying. Let's go. You know what? God of War are usually physical special attackers. I want to see what she's got. I'm going for the Miracle. I was expecting to bring Metagross. That's why I bought Jesse, really. Because I knew Jesse could deal with Metagross. Could soak up any hit dress, uh, that Metagross wanted to hit. And then I could eventually kill it with things like Destiny Bond. But she's not bought Metagross. So that's interesting. That's very, very interesting to, s to see God of War here and not Metagross. But maybe I can do something with that. I mean, technically, Miracoat is psychic type, but it's also not really psychic type, because it all depends on how much damage she does to me with whatever move she decides to do. She might decide to Toxic, which would be really annoying, because everyone who's uh, faced Jesse has just decided to Toxic Jesse and let Jesse kill herself due to, to Toxic damage. And it's really annoying when people decide to do that. But she's not doing this. She is not... She is not making Jesse kill herself. There is... Oh, beautiful! Jesse, you are beautiful! You are beautiful! Today was your day! And you got a kill! You got a kill, Jesse! Oh my god, I love you so much right now. I love you so much right now, Jesse. There's the glide score again. Okay, Gliscor is Poison Heal. He might try and... She might try and Roost. Because she thinks she might be able to get off Roost here. I mean, there's really nothing stopping her from getting off a Roost. Because, well, Jesse doesn't have any uh, moves that would... If she doesn't do damage to Jesse, Jesse can't do any damage to her. So, yeah. I possibly could switch... But what would sw I don't think switching would do too much for me in this situation. So can I? I don't think I can trick her into anything. I'm gonna go try and counter. I want to see what she's gonna do here. I guess we could go into Tranitar, really. But then again, we're susceptible to Earthquake again, and I don't want to be susceptible to Earthquake. She's setting up her rocks, which is annoying. Do you not have roost? Are you just a straight up poison heal? Are you just straight up poison heal and not actually have roost? There's the roost. Okay. Now the reason you're probably wondering why I've encored her into Roost, it's it's sort of to help me out here because I know she's gonna heal. Now I I've tricked her into healing a lot. I can sort of get into somebody who can deal with this uh, Pokemon a lot, like Charlotte or Dot. Oh, I should have gone into Tyranitar. I should have gone into Tyranitar. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Charlotte would have been a bad... Charlotte's a bad idea now. There's rocks on the field. Tyranitar would have been the play. Oh, damn it. Unlike Showdown, there's no cancel button. That's eh, not bad. It's not bad damage. I can handle that. What I want is the... I don't want the Encore to end. That's why I don't want right now. I don't want the Encore to end. 
If the Encore doesn't end, I can continue to hit things with... Uh, I can go for the Hidden Power Ice. If the Encore doesn't end this turn, I can go for Hidden Power Ice and do a lot of damage to her again. If the Encore doesn't end next turn, she's dead. Regardless of how much she heals with Roost. So that should be cool. Unless she goes all the way back up with Roost, which she shouldn't do. That shouldn't be a thing. But she can switch out them. Which would also which would be annoying. But either way, we get hidden power ice off on somebody who comes in. Which would be good for me. She could bring in the Entei, which Hidden Power Ice would do nothing to. And in that situation, going into Tyranitar would be the good idea. But she could also just stay in with Gliscor and allow me to hit with Hidden Power Ice. She could also st she could also switch into Darkrai. Uh, well, not sorry, Darkrai, Haunchcrab. And allow me to sw uh, hit it with Hidden Power Ice and kill it. She could also... She could also go back into Thunderous T and allow me to hit it with Hidden Power Ice and possibly kill it. Maybe. Or she could go into Vaporeon and take the Hidden Power Ice. But if she does that, I could stay in and I could hit it with a Compound Ice Thunder. Which is why Skyus is boosted and would do a hell of a lot of damage to Vaporeon. There's the Entei. Okay, I'm going to go for the Hidden Power Ice again here. It's not, not going to, it's not going to do any damage to Entei, but it's going to do some damage. And that's a crit. I will take a crit. Right. Now, hoping that she doesn't have a fighting type move on Entei, I can go into Dino Dam. And go for the Rock Slide. So I'm sort of hoping she doesn't have a fighting type move or earthquake on this Entei. Can Entei learn any fighting type moves? I mean, would she carry things like superpower or something like that? Honestly, I don't think Entei can learn that many good fighting type moves or if fighting type moves are that good on Entei. Really, Entei is the person you're going to use things like Sacred Fire on, which would do a hell of a lot of damage to Charlotte here. Or Flare Blitz would also do a hell of a lot of damage to Charlotte here. So that's why I'm switching into someone who won't do a lot of damage in Tyranitar, Dino Dan. Also, Sand would be an okay situation to play around with right now. So I'm getting back on my feet. It's okay. I'm doing okay at this moment in time. I mean, I may have lost Don Fan early due to Grass Knot, but I'm okay. Don't count us out of this battle yet. I mean, I count myself out of battles way too early. And that's a common trait amongst myself, which I kind of get annoyed by. Uh, and I kind of trying to... I would like to stop that. Okay, so we're going to bring in the sand now. Don uh, Dino Dan is up and he's bringing in the sand. There's the Sacred Fire. Which does nothing to Dino Dan. Entei is buffered by the Sandstorm. I'm going to go for the rock side here. She might switch them. Because, but then again, Sacred Fire did do a lot of damage, which is annoying. But she might switch here. If she goes into uh, Vaporeon, rock side won't do a lot of damage, but it should do some damage. It should do some damage. I think the play is Rock Slide either way. Rock Slide is the play. It should do some good damage to things. Whatever she decides to do here, Rock Slide should do some good damage. I could have gone for the Ice Punch, but I don't think it would do anything. I have also could have gone for other things, but I don't think that would have helped either. Crunch wouldn't have helped in this situation. I know it's Stab, but it wouldn't help. If she goes into Vaporeon, I know bringing in, uh, using rocks is not really the best idea, but it's an okay idea and it works somewhat. There's the Vaporeon.
I do some damage with rocks. I buff. I get. I do the hail. Da I do the hailstorm. Da uh, sandstorm damage as well. In this situation, switching out would be a good idea. Switching out into Charlie would be. Uh, uh, would Charlotte would be the good idea here. So I think that would be the best option. Let's go into Charlotte. I could also bring in Jesse at this point too. But then again, things uh, like Vaporeon are more defensive and are more likely to carry things like Toxic or Heal Bell. They're more likely to be the, the healers of the team, really, than the actual killer, uh, the actual special attacking monsters that they are. They, you know, Vaporeon's known for its tanking ability, really. Don't like that I have to do this again. Oh, Raw. You know, I could actually try and get a Shell Smash off here. And try and switch into Charlotte. Let's do it. Let's see if she fall for this. Because I, I was talking with the Rude, and the only person we said we'd be able to get up for Shell Smash against would be Vaporeon. So, let's do it. Let's try it here. Defense fell. Special defense fell. Special attack rose. Speed rose. There's the Wish, which is kind of annoying. But, in this situation, I can switch out. And Baton Pass passes the stats along. So, let's pass some stats along. Nice. And let's go into Charlotte to pass some stats along. And I might be able to do this again now, I switched out. Oh, come on, Raw! Right. Alright, fine. Jesse doesn't mind being in here. Jesse doesn't mind being in here unless you toxic me. Which would be kind of annoying. I kind of want to go for a mirror coat to see what she's going to do. But I also kind of want to go for an encore to see what she's going to do. But she might toxic, and that's going to be annoying. Let's go for an encore. Let's see what she's going to do. Oh, I'm faster. So she's now encored into Raw. Okay, she's on called into Raw now, which is kind of cool. Doesn't really help me in any way, shape, or form, but I'm going to try and go for the crunch here on Dino Dan. See if I outspeed them. If I do, this would be really good. It's sometimes really hard to play Jesse. It's really, sometimes really hard, but at least I got the kill with it. At least I got a kill with Jesse this time. I feel better about that. But I'm still considering maybe transferring her off for next week. I really am. I don't really know how to play her, and everyone seems to know how to, uh, seems to know how to deal with Jesse rather easily. And that scare and that annoys me that everyone can just deal with Jesse so easily. I mean, she's good Pokemon. Don't get me wrong. Jesse is a good Pokemon. She just. I really need to find a way to use her properly, and I don't, I don't think I can find that way. I really don't think I'm the right person to try and use a Wobbuffet in a, a league. Now 
Right. What's she going to go for now? She, we know she has Wish. We know she has Raw. That's all we know she has right now. She's probably going to go for the Raw again, which I'm okay with. So... Whatever I do here is not gonna hurt it's not gonna help me in any way, shape, or form, so just go for Encore, really. Because I'm gonna be switched out by Raw. Ow. Okay, I'm killed by I killed myself by my own sandstorm, which means that Vaporeon gets the kill. Which is annoying. Because in that situation, if you set yourself up by... If you get ki I guess maybe if you get killed by weather effects, it goes to the person on the other side of the field that gets the kill. If I remember correctly. So, I don't know what to do in this situation. Guess I'll go to Swift. Maybe you can hope for a burn. But then again, then you might have Heal Bell. She might have Heal Bell. My phone keeps on going off and it's in the kitchen right now. It's kind of annoying me. Because uh, people are trying to... Uh, I've been trying to talking to people to set up tag locks. And they're really annoying because they keep, just keep on talking to me. They're trying to talk whilst I'm trying to do battles. It's annoying. You have Water Absorb. I was not expecting this. I was sort of expecting Hydration. Uh, maybe I can go for the Ice Beam. I mean, I can't... I can't really do too much. That's the annoying thing here. I can't... She went for Wish again, which is annoying. If she plans on... And now she roars. Is she just... Like, is that your idea? Is that your strat... Oh my god, that's your strategy. Your strategy is to wish, r put rocks up, wish, and then roar everyone out because they can't deal with rocks. This is the worst strategy ever. But I can't deal with it. I don't know. I, there's nothing I can do about it. No one can beat this. Everyone I've got is dead to this idea. Because she's not going to attack, she's not going to attack Jesse, which is the only person who can actually do any damage to her with either Counter or Miracle. She's not going to attack her. I know this. She will not attack Jesse. She's just going to let rocks do the damage to everyone. And she won't attack anyone. She won't attack anyone now. She's just happy to roar and be annoying. And let rocks do the damage to everyone. And that's really annoying. Because I could have done so much work. I could have done so much in this battle. And I kind of fudged it up by... I kind of fudged it up. I ruined this own... I ruined my own match. Stop using raw. This is the worst strategy ever. Why? Why raw rocks? Like, Vaporeon is the one of the most bulkiest people in the world. And there's nothing I can do about it. the bulk. The sheer bulk that is Vaporeon. Unless I can get a freeze. Which you might have heal bell. I got a freeze! But she falls out immediately. I got a freeze, but she falls out immediately. 
I need to get another freeze. And I'm not going to get it. Okay, she is at least willing to attack things now. So that means I can bring Jessie in. But she might try and roar it out again, which would be really, really annoying. Yeah, there's the roar again. She just won't kill Jessie. This is the worst idea ever. Why did I join this league? I could just have been happy just uploading normal Let's Plays. But no, Joe wants, to, Joe wants to try and get the hang of battles again. And Joe feels like he was uh, sort of annoyed. Joe feels annoyed that he couldn't get the hang of battling. So Joe decided to join another league. And it just... It backfires so easily because Joe doesn't know anything about battling and Joe can't do anything. Uh, no matter what team Joe brings out, Joe will not hit. Joe will not get any wins at all unless there is a unless somebody is worse than Joe. And the person who's worse than Joe was Blue Jay, but now she's better than me. She's literally learned how to get good, and because I've been watching her battles, so she now knows how to get good, and I don't know how to do. I don't know how to get good. I've got nothing. I've got nothing here, and she's gonna. And Charlie here is gonna roar again, but she's gonna bring out Tita. And there's nothing I can do. I honestly thought I could win this week, but this is so cheap. This is such a cheap way to get victories. There's nothing I can do. I can crunch, but it's not going to do enough damage. Rock Slide would do nothing. Crunch is the only move that can do stuff, and then there's Scold. And you knew she was going to go for Scold. And you know she's going to wish here. I'm going to bring Jessie back in. But she's going to wish. You can tell. I saw. I know she's going to wish now. She'll wish and then she'll uh, just find a way. Because I still am... Um, I know she's got Toxic on this moveset. Please, kill Jesse. Next turn. Kill Jesse next turn. Jesse, live the Sandstorm. Oh, Jesse. Come on, why didn't you live Sandstorm? Then I could hit... hit. Oh, I could have hit Destiny Bond. But we didn't left a Sandstorm. And I got 5 0 again. I don't know what's wrong with this team. It's the worst team in the IBL. And I don't even know how to fix it to make it any good. It's my battling ability that ruins everything. And I can't do anything about that. But I'm going to keep on battling. I'm going to keep on battling. I'm going to try and battle again next I'll battle again next week. No, I need to save the battle. I need to save the battle. I'll battle again next week and try again. If you enjoy my misery of keeping losing battles, then you can leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more. I don't know what I'm going to do with this team. I'm considering, like, sacking the entire lot of them. Like, making a big change and get rid of, like, Mega Charizard or something like that. Because I don't... Like everyone knows how to play well against it, and I can't do, and I can't do a darn thing. I need I need a team that's more suited to my battling style. Noted for next year, 
I need a team that so, uh, works with amateurs like me. Or I need to find a way to get good at battling. Which I'm not going to be able to do. So I don't know what to do in these situations. But anyway, if you did enjoy, you can leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Link to Charlie's channel will be down in the description below. Go and check out the rest of the IBL battles that are on other people's channels uh, for this week. They're a hell of a lot better than my battles. I know that for sure, and everyone else knows that. I am the coach of the worst team in the league for Chester Chinchows, and I am out. See you again. I'm worse than people who get. I'm worse than people who leave the league because they can't do. They can't deal with the schedule of leagues. I'm, that's what I am. I'm worse than those people. You can, you like, because we've had a few of those people in this league, and I'm worse than all of them now. Yeah, anyway, good night. <laughs>